I really want to like him, and I really like how he's like teaching them and kind of bringing her back to life. He's putting them at a huge risk by staying there, and I just can't get behind that. Welcome back to another movie reactions video. We are on the last one in April, the last Kate Winslet movie. Which I remember seeing the trailer for this like when it came out, which of course 2013. I I would have been sure it was like yeah, just about a couple years ago. Apparently, it's seven years ago, just a couple years ago to me. But that's okay. Um, where was I? I lost my train of thought. Um. I remember seeing the trailer for this and I was like, that looks interesting, but I never watched it. So we're watching it today. We're watching Labor Day. <laughs> oh my goodness. I could potentially be more of a mess this morning, but it would actually take work. Um, okay, so the movie Labor Day is, quick synopsis, not quick actually, it's kind of a little long one. At the tender age of 13, Henry Wheeler, well, his the actor's name is Gatlin Griffith. That's an interesting name. That sounds really cool. Um, anyways, Henry Reeler grapples with the pains of adolescence while caring for his troubled reclusive mother, Adele. One day while shopping for school supplies, Henry and Adele encounter Frank Chambers, an intimidating man, but the one who clearly needs their help. Frank convinces the two of them to take him into their home, but later it becomes clear that he is a convict who has escaped, uh, based on the novel by Joyce Maynard. Okay. Um, oh, Clark Craig's in this too. Did not even realize that. And Tobey Maguire? What? Oh, he's a grown up Henry Wheeler. Wow. I do realize cannot stay focused. <laughs> and Edgar's playing with the hair thing. Okay. Um, can you not, dear sir? You're in my space. Stop. You're gonna mess with my things. Here, ready? Go get it. Thank you for also messing with my things still. Okay. Um, as usual, there may be times. We just see my reaction scenes, not the scenes themselves. I don't want to give away big scenes to the ending of the film. I'm going to stop rambling and get started. So let's watch the Labor Day. Oh, it's me for the hamster. Losing love itself. Yeah. Even at that age, I understood this and wanted to make up for some of the neglect. Oh. He takes her breakfast and makes her coffee. He's definitely caring for his mom, but it's very sweet. I understood who my real family was. Her. You're bleeding. Yeah, well, I fell out a window. Mm. We should get help. Well, I'd be wigging out. We really can't help you. This needs to happen. Just for a few moments to rest my legs. How does this turn the way I know it turns? Because. Why were you in prison? I never intentionally hurt anyone in my life. Is that why you were in prison? He saw right through her. That's why. Don't blame me for wondering. You better not, because I'm wondering. 
and it would be So he's just waiting for the trains, and it sounds like apparently none of them are going to go this weekend, and he just stays in hopes. <laughs> Give me a jingle. <laughs> Better make pie. Most of away before they rot. Make pie. I have another idea. I mean, I wouldn't eat it because I don't like cooked fruit, but you make it pie. Is easy. What I want to talk about is crust. How does he know all this? The mop and wax the floor and change all stuff in a car and filters and I don't even know what else he did and he knows how to cook and bake and I've got some learning to do I really want to like him and I really like how he's like teaching them and kind of bringing her back to life but he's an escaped convict and even if it wasn't intentional he still killed somebody and he's putting them at a huge risk by staying there and I just can't get behind that I kind of feel like he's almost taking advantage of her like he knows that she's so withdrawn and depressed and is responding to anything and I just I feel like he's taking advantage of her maybe not intentionally but he also killed someone not intentionally so and then the kids on board Okay, here we go. The flower is it. No, I can't be smiling. I can't like this. He's not concerned? I would still be semi concerned. Although nobody would probably pays attention to anything he says if he says anything at all. Now I'm not supposed to be liking this. I mean, but are you supposed to judge someone on who they are now, not what they've done before? <laughs> But he did just escape from prison like two days ago, so we can include that in the mix, right? So these flashbacks are his story. And I haven't picked up most of it, honestly. We're gonna watch television when we get home. Wait! Wait! <gasps> Stop it! Oh, it was worse than I thought. They're already talking about leaving. It's been two days. What happened? There's so, so many little visuals and I, I'm kind of getting brain story, but now there's a Henry story and I have no idea what's happening. Good kid. <laughs> it can be difficult not having a man around the house. Because I don't. Uh, we're all going. Really? I would never leave you. 
how did I just figure out this is why it's called Labor Day? Because it's Labor Day weekend when all this happened. How does this happen in just four days? I literally can't wrap my brain around that. I feel like something real bad is going to happen. And I'm not really looking forward to it. Was double bad. Oh, it was, it, was, it was real bad. It was real bad. I'm really fine. Now. Not like the rest of them. Uh, that's not funny. School starts today, doesn't it? I think the streets are safe for the moment. I don't like him. I just have such a bad feeling. I don't... I'm still... I'm ambiguous about this whole thing. Actually, we've packed up all the things. We're emptying our bank account and then gonna make a run for the border. You know, like Bonnie and Clyde. You kidding me? Where do we go? We have to get you out of here. I do kind of like him, but he still put them in so much danger. I was there in my mom's kitchen, my final summer at home, when I first tried my hand at baking. served his time and so I can be okay with this. <laughs> she didn't end up taking for the sake of her son but he put them at so much risk and I didn't like that and also that he broke out of prison which I didn't like but then when you saw why he was in prison it was kind of like I was kind of I was like mm, maybe he didn't like really necessarily but you know or for 18 years but I don't really know how the legal system works or from what angle they saw the crime so there's that, but then he broke out, and then he stayed in their home, and I really felt like he could be using her, but he wasn't, but I was, I, but I really ended up trying really hard not to like him, and I still did end up kind of liking him. By the end of it, though, like, it was all good. It's like, the surgery time, we're good, we're fine, everybody was okay, and the way that Henry, like, kind of took after him and, and used skills that he learned from him. Like, that was really cute. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I still... 
like I, I I don't have kids I've never dealt with severe depression like that just probably like moderate so I don't know what that's like to be on her end of it or to feel like there's nothing left in the world after having four miscarriages I don't even know how many miscarriages I've happened having but like that much pain and then she just like I was so I was so worried though I'm kind of all over the place but I was so worried because he's a convicted felon who escaped from prison a hospital but he was in prison like protection or whatever and she's majorly severely depressed like can barely leave the house handshake doesn't really function that much and it just I feel like it just could have been so bad <laughs> it just could have been so bad and he could have used her and she could totally fell for it but that's not what ended up happening so it's okay but I was so worried there for a while and I was worried about him and uh, yeah it could have been so bad but it wasn't so bad so we're gonna go if it did happen which was really good and sweet I finally can't hold back the yawn. Um, yeah, I don't know if I have anything really, like, deep to say about it. Like, it was a romance. I want to, I, there's, it's based off a book, which is cool. And the movie was a, like, complete story. I mean, obviously, I haven't read the book, so I don't know if there's anything missing. But, I mean, it was a whole and complete story, and I'm very satisfied with that. Like, I'm not even like, I want to go out and read the book because I feel like there's more to it. Um, because they got, like, they got, they got it all in the movie, I think, as far as I can tell. But, like, I'm a person that doesn't typically understand the subtleties of romance, especially in film. Like, I just, a lot of it goes way over my head, and I'm like, how the heck did that just happen? But I, I could get it. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying like the movie was enough. Because if I could understand it, then probably anybody could understand it. So <laughs> it was good. Um, but yeah, I don't have anything deep to say. But it was just a nice romance that was... It was like innocent though too. And really sweet. And it was like a family romance. I would say. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's that was my take from it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to end there. That was Labor Day. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed our, Qua our <laughs> Kate Winslet month. I certainly did. I actually lo uh, loved all of the movies. I enjoyed them all. They were fantastic. Um, and I've watched some of them more than once. So, since watching them now. Um, I will see you guys next week. Um, and next month we have a new theme. Do I want to tell you? Should I tell you? I'll oh, wait till next week. I will see you guys next month too. I really need to stop talking and get my brain together because this is like really bad today. Okay. Bye everyone. <laughs>